Hey guys, welcome back to No Kitchen Name. It's me, Ella. Today is Monday, October 18th. It is Vlogtober Day 18. I've been consistent. I'm pretty proud of myself. I haven't missed a single day yet. Oh yeah. <laughs> I just got done filming a mail haul that I'm going to edit in a little bit and get up. So I got stuff laying everywhere. But I gotta put this baby, these baby gifts up. And uh, my yarn that I bought today. So pretty. Makes me look very pale. <laughs> Do you see my sunburn from the pumpkin patch and my nose is red? My cheeks were red yesterday, but they don't look too bad now. But this definitely got burnt. It's my own fault though. Anyways, I'm gonna sit here and make the treat bags for Jesse's class. There's 16 kids in the class, including him. So I'm gonna make 16 so that he gets one too. Uh, so he doesn't get left out. I got a Joanne's thing. It's pretty old though. I don't know. Some of it's probably expired. And I also got a uh, Always coupon. Is this the toy one? Toy. It's twenty five percent off all toys and Christmas decor. Fifteen percent off everything else. Hmm. For on Sunday, December twelfth. I will forget to use that by then. That's way too far away for me to remember. Yeah. So I got a bag here. I'm gonna rip it open. Um, I'll try to rip it open. So we got these cool eyeball glasses. We got spider rings and bat rings, of course. I have those. We got more of those because we need 16 and there's only um, eight in each pack. And little rubber snakes. And we got two of those because there's 12 and I needed 16. So Jesse will get the rest. <laughs> got all the little baggies here. And then also got candy. They've got airheads, Kit Kats, and M&Ms because I was trying to get stuff that's not peanut buttery and all that stuff. So now I gotta open all these little bags and all these things. I guess I'll cut all these things open first. Yeah, so um, Jesse is going on a field trip on the 29th. And that's, they're going to do that that day as their Halloween party as well. They're going to the local pumpkin patch here in town. So they'll get to do pumpkin patch stuff and then get to get a little pumpkin and bring it home. And they're going to make treat bags, she said, to hand out to each other, to the other kids. And they're also going to paint their pumpkins, hopefully, if they have time that day. So I asked her on the app, because we have an app that we can talk to her with on, if uh, we can make treat bags to send to school with store-bought things instead of homemade things, because his school doesn't let you bring homemade like cakes and cupcakes like we did in the 90s. <laughs> and I can understand that because you never know, one, how a person's house is, or if there's bad people out there put bad things in things, or allergies. So I understand that. But she said yes, that we can make treat bags to send to this class. So we went and bought some candy today. I still gotta buy some more candy for the porch. My mom's gonna come and hand out candy here because on Halloween we'll be out Halloween then. And uh, she said she'd come sit here and hand out candy. She's done it before for me. All right, everything's open. Mm, it's my bed. Mm. Now I gotta open all the bags. I picked, I had a bunch of these bags and I picked out the least, you know, the non-scary ones. I guess that ghost kind of looks grumpy though, but surely they'll be all right. So I got 16 of them, so I'm gonna divvy up all this stuff here for the kids. Get them all laid out. <laughs> yeah, today's Jesse's first day back at school since fall break and from him being sick. And his teacher said today would be an easy day because um, we be reteaching them the, the class rules because the little kids sometimes forget when they're gone for a while <laughs> and doing stuff like that. So hopefully today's a good day for him. He slept good last night. We went to bed at 8.30 and slept until 6.30, me and him. So we had a lot of sleep last night. I'm still tired. <laughs> Yesterday it wore me out. 
he slept like a rock all night. I woke up a few times because I always do. But he slept. He was out all night. Every time I checked on him, he was pretty much the same way from the last time I checked on him. Okay, let's see here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Twelve. Open. <laughs> Thirteen. 14, 15, 16. Alright. Do we have enough bags? Guess I'll have to carry these in one day because I don't think I could trust Jesse doing it. He might uh, snoop through them or lose them. <laughs> Alright. So I guess we'll start with snakes. I'm just going to put one in each bag. <laughs> you get a snake. You get a snake. Everybody gets a snake. She didn't say anything about not adding little trinkets, so I'm adding them. <laughs> I loved getting some of this when I was a kid, so hopefully they do too. As far as I know, all the kids in his class celebrate uh, Halloween. I haven't. She hasn't said anything about there being Jehovah Witnesses or other religions that don't celebrate Halloween. Did I put one in there. Yeah. Okay. These are extra snakes. <laughs> Those are gonna be Jesse's snakes. These little rings. Let's do the glasses, get them out of the way. These are cool. I hope I don't get in trouble for sending these. <laughs> I can't help it. I'm a kid at heart. I hope I always stay that way. I'll put one in there. No. It's the best way to be is happy because I mean, whoop, that one was cobble. Why waste time being depressed and grumpy all the time? I mean, you're only alive for a certain amount of time. You need to enjoy it while you can. Oh, that one wants to eyeball too. I guess I just pop back in there. Yeah. That's how me and Devin live. We always, you know, there's no point in being depressed about bills or anything because you, you know, everybody's got bills, but it depends on how you view it you know okay last one all right they all got snakes and they all got eyeballs <laughs> these are they're all bats how many is in there Did it say it says there's 50 so i could put a couple on each of them try to give them each two different colors <laughs> but yeah you know, just enjoy life. Whoops. I missed that one. I have hard days, not a lie. You know, everybody does. But I just always try to remember that it's not going to be bad forever. And that if I am so obsessed with something being bad, then I'll forget to see any of the good, and then I'll miss a lot of my milestones. <laughs> and I don't want to miss anything, especially from Jesse growing up, because... He's only a kid for a little while, and then he's going to be a grown-up forever. And he's eventually going to get his own life and do his own thing. That won't include me. <laughs> As much. Okay. Now i got two little bat rings. How many? Yeah, two's enough. I'm just going to put those in the candy bowl for the kids outside. All right. Yeah. So now candy time. <laughs> I don't know how many is in here, but surely there's at least 16. Let me try these. bowl for the outside kids. We don't get many trigger triggers here. We, usually it's just the kids that live here. Um, so I don't need a ton of candy outside. Kit Kats. Kit Kat, Kit Kat, Kit Kat. I love Kit Kats. <laughs> I love pretty anything. I'll eat anything. There's some Kit Kats left. And Airheads. These are Devin's favorite candy. Let's okay, we'll start with just one each. Go from there. Hmm. 
I'm gonna, oh yeah, there's enough for them to each get another one. Okay. I'm gonna make Christmas bags too, for sure. Quick little Christmas goodies. I'll try to find maybe like Christmas pencils and erasers. They do the desk um buddy thing. Oh, I'm one short. Well, that kid can get extra kick out. <laughs> Oh well, that's all right. That one kid just get extra kick out. <laughs> all right, so there they are. I got them all Ugh, filled up. I need to shake them down a little bit to get the candy down in there. I'm not gonna close them in case the teacher wants to like pre-look in them. Uh, you know, just to make sure there's nothing in there. Now I need to. I got an empty box over there. I'll stick them down. Let's see. So that's next Friday. So I will these somewhere until next Friday and then take them when I drop him off at school that morning I will walk him in I'll park and walk him in and take in the box of goodies uh, I see parents doing it all the time with like cupcakes and stuff so I'm sure I can do it <laughs> but um yeah so I made the Halloween bags I did a little bit of quilting this morning I got about halfway done I'll finish up the rest of them tomorrow and then start putting the zippers in I give myself plenty of time to sew. I should have the next shop update Monday or Tuesday next week. That's what, the 25th or 26th? Depending on how I feel. <laughs> but um, I feel pretty good so far today. But I'm just still taking it easy and not trying to push it because I don't want to uh, overdo myself. <laughs> I'm a little tired from yesterday. My legs and my lower stomach is super sore from walking around so much and I had to carry a pumpkin some of that. Because as usual, Devin picked out the biggest pumpkin in the field. <laughs> Jesse picked out a small one, but we didn't have a wagon this year, and I thought you could rent them there, but when we got there, they, they didn't have a sign. Um, so we had to carry our pumpkins from the patch to benches <laughs> so I could sit down, and then Devin took his and Jesse's pumpkin to the car, and then he came back, and he just carried my pumpkin around while we were still walking around doing stuff because I would have died if I had to carry that. <laughs> Je Devin's pumpkin is like a 30 or 40 pound pumpkin. It's huge. Mine was like 12 pounds maybe, and Jesse's is just like a little one. But uh, we're probably going to paint them today after he gets home from school because it's a nice day outside. He wants to paint his. Devin will probably carve his. And I'll probably paint mine too because it's they last longer when you paint them instead of carving them. And uh, it's more fun <laughs> to me for me to uh, paint them. So I got a big box of paints up there. I'll have Devin pull down because it's real heavy. And uh, we'll set it up outside and paint the pumpkins and stuff. It'll be fun. And I also got a sugar cookie cake that's Halloween themed that I thought I was going to make today but I might wait till Jesse gets home because he might want to help me make it it's got uh, a sugar cookie base it comes with white icing to make like a spider web and it's got little gummy spiders and um, it's got little chocolate chips like white chocolate chips that are Halloween colors They're like orange and green and I think purple I can't remember <laughs> it's in there and uh, yeah I forgot to thought anything for dinner, so I don't know what we're going to eat for dinner. <laughs> we'll have to eat something that doesn't involve too much cooking because I didn't thaw any meat. But uh, we, we got sandwich stuff. <laughs> we got sandwiches. But yeah, so I got to get this box and put all these in that. And then I'm going to probably go crochet a little bit because I want to crochet. I didn't crochet much at all yesterday. I worked on my spider blanket a little bit. And I was going to work on one of my vlogmas patterns. But I was so tired, I just didn't. <laughs> I will catch back up with you guys later today at some point.